Hello. Hi there. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Not bad, not bad. My name is Vladimir and um, I'm a language teacher myself. Oh, okay. It says you're in Japan. Are you in Japan? Yes, I am. Cool. Yes. Okay. And the reason I'm here on this platform is to talk with my fellow teachers on the topic mm -hmm. of teaching. Wonderful. Well, welcome to Cambly. I see you're I'm fairly new on this on the platform. Yes, I booked like a month worth of uh, uh -huh. lessons, and uh, I think this is my uh, penultimate lesson. Oh, okay. Well, how's it going so far? Have you enjoyed your experience? Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Good, good. Well, is there something specific you would like to speak about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've prepared a list with some questions and statements, and I'd love to get your two cents on the matter. Sure. All right. Go How long it. have you been teaching English for? Well, I've done it sporadically, so I've taught off and on for about eight years. Eight years. Yeah. And my first question is, what is the role of a language teacher? Well, it's to help the student achieve their language goals, isn't it? How do you understand that? Uh, well, I think each person's individual uh, has an individual need. So I don't think that it's just uh, one way. Some people want it so that they can go traveling and they just need basic information for ordering a coffee and, you know, where's my hotel, that kind of thing. Others have an academic need so they have to achieve a high level of English and yeah, it yeah. really is focused by the individual. Got it. So, Got it. Yeah. Let me read something to you and tell me what you think. Sure. The role of uh, the language teacher is to teach the student how to learn alone, how to become an independent learner. Yeah, I think that's actually a good part of it. Yeah, because we're we're here, I always tell my, my students, I'm here to guide you. I have them send it back to me too. I, we, one of my students reversed roles with me and he said, oh, teacher, I'm here to guide you. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, I don't really like that. So, but yes, I do think that we're here to guide them, to give So them... how do you do that? How do you help them become independent? Do you have any techniques or any advice? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I definitely do. Like I... I give them websites that they can go and explore. Uh, I recommend for listening that they go and use podcasts. And of course, most students that come here to the platform already have a good basis in speaking, or sorry, in, in reading and writing. Um, if they need help with that, then I'll, I'll direct them to resources. Um, but I recommend that they work on their pronunciation. I give them some tools to work on pronunciation. Speaking of writing, uh, do you think it's possible for a person to be fluent in writing, but not fluent in speaking? Yes, absolutely. I see it all the time. Yeah. You think so? You've tested it? Yeah, no, I see it all the time. Don't, how, how do you feel about it? Fluent, because you know that the word fluent could be used not just uh, in relation to speaking, but also writing and reading. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So is it How possible for a person it? to be fluent in writing, meaning write mm -hmm. quickly, smoothly, accurately? Yeah, absolutely. But bad at speaking. Poor in speaking, yes. Poor in speaking, yeah. Like, uh, especially when we talk about English with this insane spelling. Is it possible? <laughs> You've seen people being able to write quickly, accurately, quickly and accurately. These are two key words, yes. I think. Yes. But at the same time, bad at speaking, poor at speaking. Yes. Okay. You've seen that? Absolutely. Yes. Because I'm, I had uh, tens of thousands of students, and I'm yet to come across a person who is, bad at, who is good at writing but bad at speaking. Okay. Well, I but can't you have. help you okay. there. Okay. Yeah. No, no, you have seen I, people. Yes. <laughs> so I just, I've already answered the question. I'm not going to change my mind. Sure, so sure. I've seen it on many occasions. I think it depends on the pedagogy. Right now you're in Japan. Uh, I lived in South Korea. My first students were Korean. They, they wrote beautifully and had a very difficult time with speaking because it wasn't part of the curriculum. So, so the reason I'm surprised and I ask you maybe four or five times is, so you, you use the word beautifully. I'd like to use the same word you applied to, say, speaking, and the same word applied to writing. 
speak be- beautiful, I'm not sure. Again, I sure. use the word fluent or okay. proficient, if you will, mm-hmm. which means quickly and accurately. So you okay. see people who can write quickly and accurately, in English especially, but they yes. struggle. Okay, so they are able to get their thought out in writing, but for some reason they can't speak. You see, I, I just can't wrap my head around this point. Okay. But it's possible. You've seen this in Korea. Okay. I can't help you. Okay. I can't okay. help sure, you. Sure, We're going to sure. have to agree or disagree on this Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Yeah. You said in your profile that uh, you've taught business English to both mm-hmm. native and non-native speakers. Yes. What do you mean by teaching business English to especially native speakers? Well, I I worked in project management, and it was my responsibility to help people uh, specifically learn the language around project management. I also taught uh, writing and editing to uh, hundreds of people, and it had to do with business format. It was uh, professional Mm -hmm. letters that were Mm -hmm. done for ministerial correspondence for Canadian minister and deputy minister. I see. Okay. I think you would agree that it sounds a little kind of um, unusual to teach business English to native speakers. That's why I'm asking. Mm. So you mainly your focus was on writing or even speaking? Writing and editing. I taught editors and I taught writers. That's slightly yeah. different. Okay, okay. I got it. And I'd like also to ask you about your um, CELTA. Mm-hmm. How does a CELTA make one a better teacher? Well, the program was fantastic. Uh, you know, I, I took, I was, I guess, a fortunate person. I didn't realize it at the time, but I started in the classroom in the four week CELTA and I did half of it. COVID closed down the center and I ended up doing the program from the start online and it took oh, 12 this weeks. Is recently, I see. And how, did, how does this uh, certificate help you be a better teacher? Uh, because it gives you the tools for classroom management, uh, it, how to set up lesson plans, learning plans, mm-hmm. to identify what students need. I have to say I already had a, a, a TEFL before that, so okay. I had it from, yeah. So, so it was to go to the next level in terms of having a teaching certificate. So it wasn't my first certificate, but uh I, I did find it was useful. The other part that was useful with CELTA is that we could observe other teachers in the classroom and we would also be observed and have uh, be critiqued afterwards so mm-hmm. we could learn from the experience. So, what so did I, you learn? I thought it was highly valuable. Something you learned kind of? Honestly, I just don't remember. Don't remember. It's like, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's a couple of years ago. I've seen an awful lot of students since then. So, What would make a person a better teacher, getting a CELTA or mastering a foreign language? Well, I think you have to already... Oh, I see what you mean. So, so another language? Well, yeah. I don't know. CELTA I, or I mastering have, a foreign I have, language? Yeah. I have four languages, so I'm not really sure. I mean, I, I had the CELTA... Uh, I got the CELTA after, so I I really can't say that. I learned two languages, three languages under the age of 10, so I can't answer that. Yeah, the important point is uh, having uh, having mastered a foreign language as an adult. I think you would agree that uh, learning a foreign language as a child is different. Yeah, I don't know, because it was so easy for me to do it. So I I, I, I honestly can't answer that question because of my my personal circumstances. So. Let me ask you about uh, language. I mean, you have a BA in linguistics. Mm -hmm. You have one life. Don't waste it.